Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today, today I have returning Eric. Hey, what's up, fools? And today we're gonna be, we are both Terminator fans. If you remember from some of the prior videos, that's not, that's without without uh, without question. Correct. So today we are going over what ended up being a ramp up of the original four movies, from the first movie all the way up to Salvation, written by J. Michael Straczynski of all people. JMS. Yep, Terminator Salvation, The Final Battle. Now, the reason why I have Salvation the title, one, it's in the Salvation time, but also because that was the rights that Dark Horse had at that point. After but yeah, this decade. was meant to celebrate the 30th anniversary. Nice. After decades of war, the beginning of the end. Yep, 12 issues. But yeah, I do have the trades. I want to show them off because these have watermarks. There's no digital version for me to get, you know, so I had to use scans. Right. So, uh, just good for a reminder to people, how big of a Terminator fan are you? Me? Mm-hmm. Well, I have Dang Phase. I've seen the first... Dang, I've seen Up to Salvation, so I'm caught up. Um, so, God, Dang, no, I'm more of a movie guy. I haven't really collected comics or toys or the video games or anything like that, but... Or nah. seen the Sarah Connor Chronicles. No, no, I saw the first episode, at least. Oh, oh yeah, the first episode, yeah. Like, say, and I kept seeing previous of it, but I never knew when it was on. <laughs> on so. Right. Uh, like, uh, yeah. but, what the like, but, but still, the jokes are great. I call shotgun. I call nine millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad we're ladies and gentlemen. Yes, but I wish I played the RoboCop versus Terminator game. <laughs> uh -huh. but, but, uh, I had a Genesis, and I think my parents would be like, what, the, what, like, "What are you doing playing a bloody game?" Hey, well, remember, I, 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 remember, it's only bloody if you put the code in. Everybody puts the code in. If you don't put the code game, you are not a RoboCop fan. And my parents didn't <laughs> seem to mind at all. Yeah, dude, my parents wouldn't let me watch The Simpsons until I was older. And then I was like, no, you can't watch Beavis and Butthead. No, you can't watch South Park. Uh, South Park, once I turned 18, I'm like, all bets are off. <laughs> well, my parents had me wa has let me watch Terminator, the TV edit only. That's the key word there, TV edit. But the they, still let me, they still let me watch it. All, all the good stuff was cut. <laughs> uh, no, and they still have the eyeball sequence. Ew. But anyway... Um, but yeah, look at this. Terminator's foot right on you know, the neck of a resistance soldier. Ooh. It actually comes back by the final issue, because it's entire, all the covers for all 12 issues make up one giant collage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in 2003, Cyberdyne researcher Dr. Serena Kogan, from, that was, um, um, oh, what was her name? Um, um, oof. She dated um, Tim Burton. Um, hold on. I don't know. You should have had your notes ready. <laughs> uh, I, I know. I should have. Um, not Bryce Dallas. Uh, Helena Bottom Carter's character. Bottom Carter. Yeah, the one that had. Um, um, she was the one who we find out later was met up with uh, Marcus. And basically the whole idea of freezing them so they could then become into Tiber Terminators in the future. Gotcha. Yeah, she's a breakthrough in cybernetic development. Through her terminal cancer, me, and me uh, though her terminal cancer means she will not live to see it, Coogan hopes her discoveries will save countless human lives. Her research is later per, um, perverted by someone within Cyberdyne to create a hybrid terminator from the body of convicted felon Marcus Wright. 2018, in an effort to rescue resistance soldier Kyle Reese from Skynet, John Connor stages a daring assault on his facilities in San Francisco crippling the production of Terminators. In the battle, John is mortally wounded, but Marcus resists Skynet and gives his life to save John. That's the event of salvation. Now we're 11 years later. Now leader of the resistance, John prepares to finally crush the machines, but resurgent and uh, resurgent Skynet has its own end game. The final battle, which is so fitting because what's the name of that music from the um, climax of the first movie? Um, the final, the final battle. battle, of course. Hey, take listen to that synthesizer score, kid. Thank folks, it's amazing. Houston, Texas, in 2003, we're introduced. This is a human, a, a, a resistance member. His name, I forget. Well, we'll get his name later, I should say. Okay, uh, well, like Trump. Said, yep, <laughs> and, and he took out part of a much like Arnold, he took out part of a um dumpster. <laughs> dun 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 dun. But then we get three Terminators who uh, who are who arrive, a big guy, a teenager, and a female. Hmm. I know, yo man, what the fuck? What kind of crap system you got? Power surge, dude. Check it and check it. Fried three ways to Christmas. 
come back and come back later. We're closed. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, no. Poor doggy. <laughs> oh. And your weapons right now. Ooh, they just dashed it and took him out. Oh, now that's the Terminator I know. <laughs> Close shoes now. Yep. Real shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, funny. Uh, hey, kids, real shoes. I don't wear high heels. Heels are bad on my metal feet. <laughs> and think, repeat, engage, telesync, confirm operational, confirm, <laughs> confirm, telesync locked and looped, proceeding to phase two. Mission target, Thomas Parnell. Repeat, Thomas Parnell, as the resistant guy is searching it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They renamed it Yugle? <laughs> <laughs> Yugle. <laughs> ah, crap. Why the hell can I come through and come through 24 hours earlier? <laughs> yeah, he escaped prison. Oh, and he knocks down the cop and takes his gun. Oh boy. And if everything and if everything go, it goes the way it's supposed to go, we're in the end game. We can finally win this war once and for all. This is the battle I was born for. The battle a lot of a battle a lot of good men and women die for. John, so they've actually got it. Running the time door. That's what they're calling it, the time door, which I actually like that as opposed to just time displacement equipment. Well, that's oh, the scientific term for it. Yep. Almost Simon. That's the guy's name, Simon. Now, what we're seeing here is before he went back in time. So okay. we're going to have a parallel story between present day and the future before they're sent. Gotcha. Almost Simon. Intelligence reports indicate they're still getting the core online and working out the bugs, but it should be operational pretty soon. It's essential that we capture the facility intact as soon as the time door goes online. If it's damaged or destroyed during the battle, it's useless to us and the war is lost. Everything we've been building towards uh, for the last 20 years depends on what we do to take the, uh, in the next few days. We take the facility and we hold it as long as necessary, no matter what they throw at us. No matter the cost, no matter the pain, no matter the death. Even if that death is my own, keep fighting. Don't stop. Something I've always been curious about. If Skynet knows that the previous Terminator missions using the time doors fail, why would it go ahead and send them anyway? It doesn't know that because it doesn't have a con 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 continuity of memory from a period before it became aware. I have that continuity of memory because I was there. None of the Terminators sent into the past survived long enough to pass on their knowledge in ways that would eventually enter Skynet. I'm sure Skynet has heard plenty of rumors, but all it knows started at the moment it became aware. It knows that I helped lead the resistance to this point and that there may be a way of stopping that from happening. So it's going to make its move. And then there's Kate, who wants to have some nice time with John. Enough shop talk. I want to make the best of every moment we have together. Copy that. I just... <laughs> John, back in the tent. You said we should keep going despite the deaths, even your own. Is there... I mean, is there anything else you know about what's coming at Simon? It's late, soldier. Get some sleep. Yes, sir. And on your way, send word to Kyle Reese. Tell him... Tell him it's time. Will do. We don't know for sure, John. We're, and we only know what we're, we're told. There's always a chance. Shh. No talking. Just let me love you. Just for a while. Just for this moment. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Aww. remember. I should have had the Metallica shirt. <laughs> now remember what they were. Because remember what he was told in Terminator 3. I killed I you. Right. So he knows. That he's going to die between anywhere now and after Kyle's sent. Mm -hmm. um, Chrono stabilization engage booting power grid. Request permission to engage fusion reactor and activate primary power grid. Permission granted. Engage. Remind me of the DVD menu for the first movie, Terminator Online. Play the yep. movie. Yep. Power at 20%, 25%, 30%, 35%, 40%. 50% <laughs> organic analysis. The system's operational, but unstable. Prognosis, it's ridiculously hot in there. Not just temperature hot, but radiation. It'll screw with the sensor of anything you try to send through. Prognosis, I'd say you're looking at two to three days until the system can be used without endangering the subject in transit. Maybe a tick more. Tick is imprecise, Dr. Coogan. 
And yes, well, you'll have to excuse the imprecision, but no one's ever built a time door before. As it, bar as it is, I barely understand the maths involved. My strength has always been supervising the organic aspects of the project, from developing tissue growth for the T units from the first phase and phase to phase two, and <sighs> tick could be an extra day on either side. We probably won't know for sure until we actually send something back. Instability of system and imprecision suggest T-800 units be utilized for initial time jumps. Why the 800? The mission's so important. Why not send the most advanced T-800 units are older models, outdated, expendable. Ow, that's why! Well, that's expendable. The T-800s, the Arnold's oh, and all that. Oh, dear. That ex You know what? That explains a lot. Why send in the T1 in the T800 when you had a T1000 and it was clearly sent at the same time? That's why. So you uh, just toss them aside. Nice. In another life. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Back up. Why? <laughs> because uh, because for the first one that was sent back to stop um to stop, stop Sarah, yeah, to stop, uh, to Sarah. Sarah was a test. Oh. So you just okay. toss them aside. Nice. In another life, you could have been the CEO of a major corporation. We have not concluded the briefing session. Yeah, well, I have to check on the phase two prototype. So if you want to win this war, let me do what I do best. All right. Acknowledged. So, yeah. Basically, we find out that she was actually frozen. And then Skynet reactivated her and inputted her mind into a Terminator body. Oh. Every time I think about how much I paid for so-called makeovers and now seeing what that really means, ah, well, you'll experience that yourself soon enough. You're the very pinnacle of my work. Even so, wouldn't it be interesting if you simply disappear from the timeline, if you stopped being here because you were never here, because they failed to protect you? But if that were the case, then who would I be talking to right now? I have to stop thinking about time jumps and ripple effects. It just gives me a headache. Duh. <laughs> As police <laughs> continue their manhunt for escaped convict Thomas James Parnell. Parnell was convicted in 2000, one of the most brutal string of serial killings in Texas history. Notice, same guy. You know, oh. there's something about being famous that I just kind of dig. Not that any of you will ever know what that feels like, but and that's life, isn't it? Slated for execution in a few weeks, Parnell took over a prison van while being transported to a hospital after complaining about chest pains. During his, his escape, he killed a driver and two police officers before hijacking a car and disappearing into midday traffic. The carjack victim was de described as a male in his 40s with his gray hair wearing a pinstripe business suit. Anybody want the rest of these eggs? Ellen? No, of course. I should have known you were looking out for that girlish figure of yours. Cindy? Jimmy? No? Well, more for me, I guess. They're all Get dead. All right. This guy's nuts. They're all dead, aren't they? Yes, they are. Can't remember the last time I had orange juice this fresh. You stock a lovely refrigerator, Ellen. And if anyone with information about Parnell is to contact the police at once. Last chance. Anybody want anything? Coffee? Bacon? Just one more breath of air? No? Okay, then. I'm going to take a shower and grab a quick nap. I left the remote on the table if you need it. What a psycho! Gee, this guy, this guy needs to be on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> well, apparently he where he was, dude, since he was arrested. Well, I get that, but now he's wanted all over again. <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, in an unrelated incident, police are on the lookout for a man in connection with a break-in and insult on a police officer right last night at the Throne Real Estate Office in Houston. Simon. Meaning Simon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the suspect is considered armed and dangerous. Not dangerous enough, but this will help. Okay, back <laughs> with more after this. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody has to have some news about this guy. At least I got the scanner. That should... You okay? Look, I'm sorry about all this, but I need to... I tell you, but I don't think you believe me. I'm sure someone here will be here and will be here sooner or later. For now, I gotta run. Well, drive. I'll try not to bust up your car. Too bad. I like the artwork here. Very nice and simple, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Defect, zero, threat level, zero, on ecology. <laughs> oh, baby, I love you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <It's> like, mm. 
<laughs> defective and uh, defective terminal defective terminal coogan s hello is it is it you is it it is isn't it yes it is us dr coogan thank god thank god thank god i'd almost convinced myself that i've been imagining the messages that i've been on that i've been deceiving myself but it's true it's all true i'm saved i'm saved I'm saved. So in other words, she was communicating with someone from the future, and now these Terminators are back to, are, have come back to make sure she can uh, live through to the future to be re reborn without cancer. Ooh. So in other words, it's giving us a different idea of this. Instead of just sending someone back to just kill, they sent someone back with information. Right. That, only Jim has would think about that. <laughs> and that was so, just the first issue. They talk about a lot uh, of this, issue. Uh, this is twelve. Uh, is everything out? Is everything? One of your readings going to be fifteen minutes? Uh, hopefully. Wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, no, wait, no, wait. probably, probably, probably. Wait. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Some of these will both go by quicker. I assure you. Okay. I just wanted to get that first one out of the way because we're dealing with Simon. He's trying to find it. A lot of stuff I can breeze through. I just want to get things set up. Okay. Okay. Wait, go back to the cover. I didn't see it. Oh, sorry. A storm isn't on the horizon. It's here. <laughs> now, I know, obviously, she doesn't look anything like Helena Bottom Carter, but, you know, rights issues and all that. I don't care. <laughs> yep, but we see then, this, like, Simon is trying to figure out how, where to meet up with Parnell. The Terminators are with um, Kogan, and thanks to one of them <laughs> shorting out the lights, um, they're able to get out of there. Your uh, your research facility. One of us will stay with you to begin the process, while the other pursue the primary target. Is your laboratory sufficient for our needs? Yes, yes, it should be fine. Thank you. They say the prognosis is both terminal and rapid. If we'd caught it earlier, there might have been a chance, even a small one. But they're saying six months at most. No, I'm still reeling from the news. I mean. They have so many things I've never done. So much work I've never completed because I didn't have the resources. I don't know what to do. Dr. Coogan, we are aware of your situation. We can help you to survive, to live, to achieve everything you ever dreamed of. We can save you. Repeat, we can save you. I'll call you back. Who is this? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Stand by to receive the first transmission. This formula will delay cancer by no less than one year. Work with us and we can cure you completely. We can save you. You, we will save you, and you can save the future. So, in other words, it was theoretically possible to send computer messages from the future to the past. Really? Yes. Again, something we never thought about because it really wasn't needed in any of the other movies. Nope. But for Skynet, for Coogan, it makes sense. Hmm. So yeah, they're able to, with some help from her future self being communication and help build up everything she had that would eventually lead into um, what, what we been what we saw in Salvation. Uh -huh. And we see Parnell here, he took out a few other people and took their gun, and he's taking their guns. God bless um, the great state of Texas. <laughs> uh, whoa. Yeah, look at those guns. I know Texas uh, is a little bit less on gun laws, but damn. <laughs> damn. We going hunting with those and what is that trust fund fund in that safe <laughs> uh i don't know or war chest uh, that's a lot of money a lot uh, of no money. no that's not money it's bullets oh never mind that's a lot of it that's enough yeah. ammunition for somebody to make a bullet bandolier yeah dude that's for these guns see obviously <laughs> dude i get it i'm sorry i get it i'm not an idiot when it comes to firearms yep, this is where most and we do most of the research on growing new skin from stem cells and grafting into metal plates stem so cell stem cell research Ugh. and grafting <laughs> into metal plates sheathed in silicone per your request ironically the project received a substantial grant from the government on the premise that it would help the battlefield injuries What's more ironic is that after all of these years of research, all I have to do now is take a sample of your skin, which is based on that research. Kind of funny in a which came first, chicken or the egg kind of way. I fail to perceive the connection between chickens and Terminators. Now let's see what you make and make of the eggs. 
Eggs, 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 eggs. Ah, uh, wow, a Terminator mouse, a uh, rodent. Yeah, those things put the Mausers to shame. Yeah. Uh, this is, of course, where the other projects you requested was getting done. Even with the advanced biological, neural, and chemical advancements. I'm oh, sorry, hair in my glasses. Ooh, I hate when that happens. I know. Uh, like you sent back, it took a lot to make this work, but eventually we got it done. This is Birdie, our first successful transplant of a living organic brain into a housing based on, well, based on you. Beautiful, isn't she? Beauty is a subjective human con concept, as much of a source of misery as joy. You're wiser than you look. And here's the <laughs> final result of your investment to me. It took me a long time to get the state of Texas to agree to let me have access to the bodies of executed criminals for purpose of study. But once that hurdle was passed, I was able to start collecting specimens for and uh, down river for use down river. I have great hopes for this one in particular. I think he could be very useful, and these are all and these are all to be considered backup units of secondary importance. But they may be useful for infiltration, espionage, sabotage. But Parnell is the primary target, the primary donor. Uh, yes, of course. And once he's in hand, once he's in cryo, cryo, cryonic suspension. I get my turn, right? That was our agreement? Yes. But how do you know you'll honor that agreement? Because it has already been honored, or I would not be here. I suppose you've got a point. Mark is right. Oh. From salvation. Yeah. Come for a last look, John. And John, at the uh, marker, the man, and the puzzle. Oh, believe it or not, later on we find out why JMS actually gives an explanation to why John survived the heart transplant in Less than ideal conditions. Oh, really? We'll get to it, but he actually gives a good one. Hmm. But yeah, they're they're just talking about it because they're trying to prepare because they know, you know, how things, you know, what's coming, or at least they right. believe what's coming. There's right. a lot I still don't understand about what happened, Kate. I get why Skynet, Skynet would want to use markets to infiltrate our ranks, work at us from within without him even knowing he was doing it, but. The technology needed to insert a living human brain into a terminator body is huge. You don't just develop that tech infrastructure for a single mission that can be accomplished in other ways. It's like firing a nuclear weapon to destroy a hot fudge sundae. Hot fudge sundae. I remember hot fudge on Sundays and whipped ice cream with a cherry on top. With or without nuts. Without. I'm a purist that way. You <laughs> mentioned before something about this before I married you. Go ahead. Pretend you had a choice in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, in the, yeah. in the movie, she was played by Bryce Dallas Howard, and of course, he was played by um, uh, Christian Bale. I, right. I keep forget. Sorry, I keep forgetting. What are you I doing? I already saw the movie once. <laughs> I know. But yeah, like, was, no wait. Like, besides, wasn't this where Christian Bale did his infamous? Yes, movie? that's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Go make Ring of Fire, too. Yep. Um, but, yeah, obviously we didn't see him. You know, they're talking over. They're basically giving a summary about salvation a bit. And they're bringing up stuff like giving you the human heart they made for him when yours was damaged. I don't think he'd approve of using that heart to fret over things like this. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they sent me to get you. Wanted you to know it's time. Yes, sir. I know. I know. This will be brief because the jammers can only buy us so much time before we're picked up by the scanners. This is our day, humanity's day, the day we've been preparing for since the first day of the resistance, the destruction of Skynet, and the end of the Terminator Wars. At 0800, yeah, at 0800, the big guns and heavy machinery will lead the assault, breaking through the Terminator front lines and creating holes for our ground forces to exploit in the offense against Skynet. Remember, however, that as good as it may feel, destroying Terminators and the com and com command center is secondary to our primary mission. The Time Door, which should be operational by the time we begin the offensive, must be captured intact. If it's damaged or destroyed, we will lose the war and everything else we fought for, to and for together. So saddle up and get ready for the go code. Today, we take back the planet. Is Kyle Reese on his way? Yes, sir. Good. I hated keeping him at Charlie base, but we couldn't afford having both of us in the same place at the same time. Too risky to, to the timeline if something happened to both of us. All right, people, we're on the clock. Let's do this. As we then see Simon in the, pa you know, in the past, which is his future. You know what I mean. He's yeah, still trying to find thing. where he's. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, he's just driving, trying to find out. And he realizes 
he doesn't have that much information to go off of. Oh. Oh, but he seemed to show up. But he, th- but luckily enough, he showed up just in time. Thomas Parnell. Thomas Parnell and Thomas Parnell. Well, fuck. <laughs> no, <can't laughs> just like Terminator Two. You mean Terminator One? Well, one, one as far as one being a human, being a Terminator, but I'm talking about them both pointing guns at them. But they're you, know, you had, you know, you had, the, you had the T1000 pointing a gun and the Terminator pointing his gun. Yeah, but that was. This feels more like the first movie to me because it's dark. That too. Well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, very good with the action here. That's what I love about Pete Wood's styles. Again, the simplicity of it all, but at the same time, he gets good details. But yeah, Parnell gets out of there, and then we're seeing um, them testing it. Com- confirmed. Proceed. Before sending to solid matter, we will use radio transmission sent back to a specific location and date. Routing terminals through the time door sequencer. Ready to proceed? Confirmed. Um, right then, here we go. And see, that's how she communicated. Through uh-huh. the door. Uh, that all made sense now. I can hardly believe it. Me, me, I, me either. After so long, it's here. It's finally here. The final battle. Oh, I would have yeah, loved this. Sorry. Sorry, loved what? I would have loved this scene as a movie. They would have been better as a miniseries, I think. Man, trying to squeeze all that too much in. Right. The race for humanity's reckoning. Hmm. And again, we see we're back in the past. As soon as Parnell has been taken into custody and executed, I'll be able to put his body into cryonic suspension, and then my own. To be reborn, to live without pain or disease, no more cancer, no more meds. I've been sick for so long, I can't remember what well and what that feels like. And so, yeah, basically, like, I have to go. But the rest of the facility, don't you want to see? Intermediate mission was to determine that the process works. This was successful. The next goal will be met when the primary target is in hand. Stay with the plan. <laughs> the fact that they, again, they send a black, big black guy, a woman, and a teenager. Interesting mix. Yeah, but you make them all still sound robotic. Yeah, but, but they are still robotic. But, but, yeah, but, but, but the Terminator still had human voices, at least. True. I, I, uh, I, I, oh, I love this one. Activate beacon, track to our position. If beacon becomes unavailable, follow the collateral damage. These are smart Terminators. Yes. Look, dude, I'm just saying if I was you, I'd give them all distinct voices and so just sound like the Phineas and Phenobots and Firm Droids. <laughs> True. Scat and scatter shafe to disable vehicle. We don't have shafe. Make some. Confirmed. Oh. Make no, no, it would be like make some. Confirmed. No, <laughs> make some. Confirmed. But yeah, follow the collateral damage. That's smart for them to tell him that. Follow the collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Warrior laughs> people. That doesn't matter. We have we are here to save your life. Cool. Anything I can do to help? Drive faster. Just drive faster. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the tire. We will require All right, Chase, I was waiting for this. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we will require replacement vehicle. Confirmed. Making selection. Take the wheel until transfer complete. Confirmed. Oh, hell! <laughs> I'm proud to oh, hell. Oh, it has weapons hidden up its sleeve. What, the Robocop? <laughs> no, remember, so long as it's underneath the flesh. I know, I know, but geez, he's got shivs. <laughs> yep, and ooh! Yeah, whoa, now that's a Terminator shot. That's why I'm yep. on the high right wheel. Yep, and, and stay down! Watch out! <laughs> Acquiring out uh, acquiring alternate vehicle in three. Her hair? What the? She Two. turned into Medusa from Marvel. One. Oh, that that would have been nice to see in a movie. Dude, it's playing out of my mind as I'm looking at this. <laughs> uh, or at least Mario, why are you trying to kill me? For the same reason they're trying to save you. Same reason they're trying to save you. I look in the background. What? Where? Right there. Uh. Is that him with a rocket launcher or something? Oh, no, he just jumped onto a truck. Secondary target has firing lock on Parnell. Termination certain unless vehicle disabled. Confirmed in position. Ooh! I'm just doing the sound effects here now, folks. 
intercepting okay. police transmission. Copy okay, that. Now, okay, now that I pointed it out with your robot voice, it's now getting annoying. Can you please make distinctive voices? All right, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, but dude, I'm doing it for the males mostly. Yeah, but dude, even the girl sounds are. Uh, never mind. Uh, well, take, never mind. They had just... human voices, but they still sounded cold and robotic. Take this. No, they sounded stoic. If you remember how Robert Patrick and Arnie sounded. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Thomas Parnell, if you want to, and if you want to live, close your windows and turn off all air conditioning and vents right now. Lacking acceleration. I think that's supposed to be their interior voice anyway when it does that. Uh, but they're still talking to people. So I'm right, well, right now we don't see her talking. It's more like that, but anyway. She just catapulted her. What the? Activating chemical warfare component. Nerve gas implemented. <laughs> it's a th demolition derby, boys. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, huh, and hoop along Christ. What the hell was that? Some kind of terrorist attack? Something like that. Never seen anything like it. Like some kind of goddamn war zone. That's supposed to be GMS in a cameo. <laughs> uh, not as much as a receding hairline, though. <laughs> True. Did you see the whole thing, mister? Miss, I think, mister, I said, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Simon, Simon, focus. I'm just, I am, John. It's just the scale. Give me the coordinates for the next push. So yeah, they're trying to figure things out um, to go in. And oh! Holy splash page. Wow. John, I want to see that again. Go back. I want to look at this. I want to study this. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. All the hunter killers, the terminators. The, wow. the resistance. That, wow. That's a cool shot. But yeah, of course, they're trying, they're pl making their plan still. They've determined, you know, yes, it's there. Everything's ready to go. Any reason you believe they found the package? No, sir. Reading the bounce back, signal five by five. Good. Because a lot of good men died getting in there. Pull the trigger. They have this, um, they, it looks like there's an explosive there. Kaboom. Damn. This is it, people. The Sermier nuclear dawn of what is about to become the next chapter of humanity's history. A chapter in which we're finally free of Skynet. By the time Skynet can pull together its forces at, mo at more distant bases, we'll be inside. Sir, message from Kyle Reese. He said he's waiting for us on the other side of the big fight. Well, let's not keep him waiting. Time we get into the fight. Time we finish this thing. I'm honored I could be here with you today, sir. Uh, this is where everything changes. Like, Oh, yeah, so, yeah, we see him in the in the future, in the past, past, future. Damn. Oh, look at that cover. Like, uh, I got a truck and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> yep, the perfect killer isn't born, it's made. True. So, yeah, they're trying to find where Parnell has gone, and um, we see him, well, kill a random guy, no matter for no importance to them. Mm -hmm. And destination unknown. Time to wake up, Thomas. Time to greet your new life. This is him in the future being activated. Ooh. Our requirements are for a revivification substantially higher than anticipated. You want someone who can save your ass or just think about it? The former is preferred. Then hang up your back. <laughs> invalid argument. Then just stand back. Oh, invalid. That, that's invalid argument. <laughs> <laughs> I was on to do it like the MCP. Invalid argument. <laughs> right. Dr. Kogan? In the flesh. Well, mostly. Same as you. You look a damn sight better than the last time I saw you. So do you, Thomas. Considerably less dead. Congratulations. <laughs> the process worked. Whatever Connors for may think they know about what's coming, the one thing they don't know is that as of right now, they can't possibly win. You're probably wondering, why does Skynet want this guy? Yeah. We'll find out. John, you okay? Yeah, Kyle, you, have, you, you ready to become the first human being to travel back through time? Hell yeah! <laughs> I've been studying her photo like you asked, so I can be sure to ID her as soon as I make contact. Your mother, Sarah, she was a beautiful woman. Yeah, yeah, she was. Never even had a chance to meet the dog she had with her, and with her but she loved it so much. Aww, the Bobby. dog in the picture. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you well, you tell me a little bit more about what I'm supposed to do other than protect her. That's the core of it, Kyle. The rest, the rest is well attend will attend to itself. Uh, yep. yeah. Yep. Where we find out, here's why. Skynet, he, this guy's a great master at killing. And he has a n greater knowledge than Skynet ever would. He wants to use his mastery of killing to make the Terminators better. Oh, boy. And thus so he uploads them in his mind into it so he can control the Terminators. And at well. the same time, showing him what Skynet's been doing. Just showing everything. He's getting him caught up on what uh, up on the war, all the stuff that's been happening. And basically, it's saying how Skynet has no understanding. He doesn't know how doesn't know how to be much more ruthless, mm. because it's cold logic. Right, of course. So it yeah. needs to become yeah. more yeah. human to understand humans. And that's uh, so, yeah, as you advance along with the chain of evolution from survival to more complicated needs, you begin to realize slowly, ever so slowly, that perhaps the only way to defeat us, the only way to survive us was to become us. So JMS is looking at this from the idea of as the war went on, Skynet became more human to defeat the humans and the humans became more machine like to defeat the machines. That's that's uh, that's pretty much anti-war in a nutshell right there. <laughs> yeah, and like, because we're and we're good at it, and because we enjoy it. <laughs> yep, you're here because you're a killer, because you like to kill, because you're good at it. So what remains of human, the human race, has just been served up to you on a platter to do wish, do with as you wish. How many? Any advocacy? How many? There was originally three billion were killed the day Skynet became self-aware. Over the years, though, attacks, disease, and famine figure another billion, perhaps less than half of what was once the world's population. Their mind to do with as I wish? Yes, yours, to do with as you wish, after the resistance is defeated. And yeah, he's going to be linked into all the Terminator, and he'll be able to feel every inch of it. Bitchin'. And now he's controlling a bunch of the Terminators. And they're more ruthless. Mm. Punching right through people, not even shooting yeah. them. Yeah. Dr. Kogan. Dr. Kogan, yes. The temporal control system has been stabilized. It's time. Understood. It's a T-800 unit en route. Confirmed. Here we go. And this is where we get into the Terminators all being sent. Oh, Machine God. killers, human death lust. Oh. So, yeah, they're basically gu and gunning their way through. Kyle Reese should be here any. Always check your six, John. Sorry I had to run late. Took longer than I expected to get in from the perimeter. Still can't figure why you kept me on the edge of the action for so long. You're the only one trained in time door survival protocol. You need to make sure nothing happened to you. It'd be rocky for sure, but if anything happened to me, you could always send someone else through. No, it's you or it's no one. In more ways than you could possibly imagine. Let me show you where we stand. And basically they give a, about you know what the whole job is. Get in there, hold as far as possible, and then send them back. All right. If their goal is to keep you from being born, why not go after, you, after your father as well as your mother? Shouldn't we be looking to protect him too? Don't worry about that, Kyle. My father was far beyond their reach right up until the moment they, Sir, they're getting a distress call from the Unit 7 and, back and breaking up, but... And breaking through, coming in is from all sides. Never seen them fight like this before. I ah! Ugh. Ugh, ripped in half. Ugh, gross. Crunch. Ugh. You have no idea what it's like. No idea at all. What if, if it's like to feel neck snapping under my fingers, throats crushed, hearts ripped from chest still beating, feeling all of it at the same time from a hundred hands, seeing it from all from a hundred eyes. I was wrong. There is a heaven, and I'm in it. And there's a hell, and they're in it. And they're uh, eating the hand. Yeah, uh, it's repulsive. Yeah, gross, dude. Can I indicate a 15% increase in human fatalities and a 12% increase in localized battlefield efficiency? Do your figures confirm, Doctor Kogan? Yeah, yes, Doctor Kogan. Yes, the increase in terminations is statistically significant. You haven't seen anything yet. 
Right now, I'm only in control of a small percentage of the battlefield terminators. Put them all under my command, and by God, you'll see something. I advise against it. Explain. Mr. Parnell's brain is still human, still adjusting to the interface with the Terminator's central control system. If we push the connection too far, too fast, we could burn out his synapses in time. We do not, and we do not repel, if we do not repel this attack, there will be no time, Dr. Coogan. Subject Parnell will be put on automatic expansion protocol, incrementally increasing the linkage until all battlefield terminators are synced. Automatic, but there are other matters related to the time that await your attention, Doctor. The time door is ready, and the 800 unit is awaiting transmission. I, I understand. Heading there now. Did you notice the way she hesitated? Did you catch her tone of voice? Explain. Coogan's a good doctor, but she's still 100% human, and still a woman. Humans in general change their minds all the time. And women? Well, I think you better let me and set me up with a hard link connection to the control interface that can't be broken by anyone, just in case her priorities have changed. It is a logical request and will be implemented immediately. Much appreciated. Oh, crap! Uh. And, well... Let's get the show on the road to yesterday. Affirmative. Her mission, kill Sarah Cotter. Proceed. And, yep, sends him right through. There goes the first Arnold. Huh. What in the name of God? God had nothing to do with this, John. Something's <laughs> wrong. I've never seen the Terminators do something like this. No, hell, I've never even heard of them doing this. It's almost as if they enjoyed killing them. The machine, Simon, they don't have emotions. I know, but still, Jesus, something's wrong. Something's, something's changed. No time to worry about that now, John. Crap. And, but they take them all down with their sky fighters. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. They make their own way. Check your targets and steer clear of the power sources. We don't want this thing going critical on us. Come on, man. We got to move. This is the only soft wall in the place. Got it. Fire in the hole. This is it. Go, 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 go. Dr. Coogan, status report. I'm se just sending through the second backup Terminator, meaning the T-1000. The, faci right. the facility has been breached. Recommend you shut down the time door. Withdraw to the primary command center. We can't do that. We need 24 hours to shut down the whole system or the whole area goes up like a tactical nuke and all your primaries with it. Nonetheless, you cannot be allowed to fall into enemy hands. You must withdraw now. But the final three term and transfer subjects are, are being prepped. If we don't send them through, we don't. And we know that they did go through because their mission succeeded. So it cannot be doubted that one way or another, they will go through, even if the facility is captured. You are instructed to withdraw at once. All right, all right. If you realize, you can barely see that's a female figure, meaning that was the TX that was sent. Oh. The second backup. Right. So the T-1000 was the first backup. This was the second backup. Right. Gotcha. Hey. Well, so that's John Connor. Dr. Coogan. Right. On my way. Boom, boom. But yeah, they make their way there. I just hope the codes we got from our taps are still in use, or this is going to be a really short mission. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. Got it. Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> Good reference. Good easy, reference. Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long we can hold this, so you got to go fast, Kyle. I know. Feel like I'm running out on you. You're not. Trust me, you're not. I never asked you. Never wanted to know before. Right now, in case we never got this far, but this is a one-way ticket. And since you came through it all, I was wondering, do I, do I die in the first days of the machine war? Yeah. Yeah. You save my mom, and then you die in the very earliest days of the war. You finish the mission, soldier. Fair enough. I, I won't be able to target the first time bubble precisely. It'll be off by a few hours and a few miles. Better that way. He can't bring through a weapon, and a Terminator is a weapon. So it's good if he comes through at a safe distance. Cold. God damn, it's cold. Activate system transit in four, three, two, one, zero. Ah! Did he make it? Looks like it. Yeah, I think so. Good work, Simon. So basically, this is then when they soon realize they need to now capture a, a Terminator unit. Okay. Yep. And um, 
but I've hooked the time doors control into the automation. So if anything happens to me, anyone can run it. Even me, even you, sir. So he's made it simple to be done even without Simon. All right. So yeah, to use a, a net to capture another T-800 unit. Looks like we got him, sir. He's all yours and all Connors. So, yep, we now get to see what leads in one. Marcus Wright. Oh, boy. Hey, what's that say, five or six? This is six. Okay, so we're halfway through. Got it. No yep. fate, but what we make for ourselves. That's it. Yep. I love that. Oh, but what we make. Yeah, I love that quote. <laughs> I do, too. But, yeah, they're like, main unit, diversionary attack, coming under heavy fire, General Connor. Whatever you're going to do, better finish doing it soon, because this is getting massively ugly. So basically what he's saying is they didn't win when Kyle went back. Mm. You know what I mean? So as far as Kyle was thinking, he thought that this was a chance where they could win when he left. But it turns out it was all a bluff. Oh. Yeah. Keep working. Remember, we can't afford to let even one of those Terminators in here. Don't worry, sir. We'll get it done. What's our status? Just a second. Sorry, the work is pretty intense. And music calms me down. Pre-war stuff mainly. What were you listening to? Guns and Roses. <laughs> yes. The music playing in the background could influence the reprogramming. Can't imagine how. <laughs> okay, that is cute. <laughs> that is cute. Because remember, what did he do in the second movie? But I Box of Roses with a gun in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no roses? Just, no, just guns. Oh, yeah, from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yep. yeah, but anyway, just insert the re and this, I just got to reinsert the CPU and reboot. Well, here goes nothing. Wait, Axel, got to do this joke, Axel or else waste of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, careful. Should be okay as long as it responds to my voice. It will, in theory. In theory. It's not like I went to school for this, John. You understand the mission? Yes, I am to save John Connor and Sarah Connor. If possible, secondary mission. Secondary? I did my best. You go digging through in there with a clock ticking over your head. Well, it'll have to do. Okay, that explains a lot. How's so? up? Remember, what did he say? We need to get my mother out of there. Negative. She's not our primary. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I should have watched all. You know what? I should have watched all four movies before we did this. <laughs> Let's get yeah, it. So, yeah. yeah. It's been a while. Yep. Remember, it's amazing that it's Uncle Bob Terminator. <laughs> hey. right. Okay, John, we're good to go. Good luck. What is the meaning of the gesture? It's a handshake. When you shake someone's hand, you're saying you did good. I have not yet completed the mission. No, you haven't. And yes, you have. And I just need to say one last time, you did good. And this, by the way, means I did good. Like this. Oh, yeah. I get it. That's what Just like that. Like. Good luck. Yes, you did good. Real good. Activating time door now. Okay, that... I mean, John does teach him the sums up in the movie, but it's good to see there's some reinforcement to why yeah. he did it at the end. Right. Ding, ding, ding. You are allowing right. valuable resources to be lost. The human casualties continue to rise. Confirmed. 50% above standard, but losses of T units of also above optimal percentages. More is messy. You want me to win it for you? That's what I'm doing. One crushed throat, one torn out heart, one decapitation at a time. There you go. Get that must hair out of your face. Just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't be all nice and pretty. Pardell. Yeah. There will be need there will be and there will need to be sufficient terminate forces to begin repairs. Assure the integrity of infrastructure. So just build more of them. New Terminator constructions requires time and material and resources and boring and not my problem. Right? <laughs> what a smug punk. Right now, I have control over 40% of the Terminator forces. At my present rate of acquisition, I should be up to 74% soon. The faster I get control, the sooner this is over. A slower rollout and acquisition of forces would be advisable, would be somebody else's style, not mine. Best thing you can do is just get out of my way and let me do what I want. Dr. Coogan. Dr. Coogan. Yes, Subject Parnell may be exhibiting signs of instability. He's a serial killer. Of course he's unstable. They're all unstable. Behavioral instability may be a result of programming error. Programming error? Yeah, I guess you could say that. 
guys like and Thomas Parnell aren't born serial killers. They're made that way. So in other words, he had an abusive upbringing, and that's yeah. what led to him becoming like that. Oh, uh, this is like out of hell, the beginning of Halloween. <laughs> or Carnage. Oh, uh, that too. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yeah, basically we're getting a bit more of talking about, you know, Herb just pontificating about it all, the hidden depths behind their eyes and everything. He was a Terminator year before, years before your first line of code was written. Oh. Like, if you knew Subject Parnell and similar subjects were unstable, why did you participate in the project? Because that was the price of admission. The price of this new body in place of the cancer-ridden one I was trapped in at the time. We both paid the price. Now we get to see if it all works out in the end, or if this turns out to be something neither of us can control. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Uh-oh, she's being watched. Oh. I always knew what was ahead of me. The war, the resistance, the day, because she and I only knew as much as Kyle Reese and the Terminator sent, and back in time knew, which ended the moment they went through the portal, that window. That window of information ends in the next 24 to 48 hours. After that, with one exception, I don't know what happens next. After that is the unknown. At last, the unknown. And finally, finally, no fate but what we make. Yeah, and I liked it, how John is finally feeling like, like, what next? Right, he's like, okay, we got everything through, now what do we do? Except for one other thing, but he doesn't know when or how. Right. But yeah, so, we're getting our asses kicked out here! <laughs> no kidding. Yep, like, if your forces pull off, Skynet will be able to focus his effort on recapturing the time door facility. We have to hold out for as long as possible. Connor? Connor's right, General. We can't shut it down uh, and shut it down without blowing up the whole facility and everything else for a quarter mile around. Okay, that's also a good explanation of why they didn't destroy it after they were done, because they couldn't. Oh. Because if they did, it would have been like a like they said, like a tactical nuke. Hey, right, right, right. The tactical nuke. Unfortunately, General Tyler's dead. Or Taylor. Uh, yes, you can see that. Yep, Taylor's dead. Looks like half the assault units are either withdrawing or in deep trouble. Something I was thinking about when you said that all you and Sarah Kyle knew about the war was what happened up until Kyle and the Terminators were sent back. But it's okay. Go on. When, and when they went back, we were winning. Might even have looked like we had won. But like they say, that was then and this is now. What if it, all that changed the moment after they went through? What if it's changing right now? In the, ba in the battle for evolution... I'd bet the Neanderthals thought they had it all worked out. Right up to the moment Cryomagans uh, Cry kicked their asses. I guess what I'm saying is, from now on, anything can happen. And that is possible we could lose. Human-like species have gone extinct before. Maybe it's about to happen again. Not on my watch, it's not. Nope. And, oh boy, he's... um. The more Terminator CPUs I require, the more the acquisition control system seems to slow down. It's as if it's someone's put a limiter on the system to slow me down. If I got and got too big for my britches, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, I don't lie to me, Doc. Jeez. Yeah. And he basically starts to take more control. Gives him the password of one monkey. Initiating override. One monkey. Acquisition control at 58%, 60%, 61%. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Give it all to me. Two monkeys. Ah, that's right. Every contingency. Doesn't matter, Doc. I've got control for 63% of the Terminators, and I'll get the rest sooner or later, with or without your help. Or Skynet. Did you scan that? Confirmed. Unless he stops, he'll keep on expanding his sphere of influence, not just into the battlefield Terminators, but into your mainframe. It's possible he can't and he can still be turned. Possible he can still be useful. But if we can't stop him, we can't control him, I suggest option beta. Option beta is not acceptable. It run the numbers. It's part if Parnell takes full control, you will be overwritten and eliminated. The machines and world will be destroyed along with the human world. Skynet must survive. Yes, but if you can't shut him out and you don't have the killer instinct to beat Parnell, Terminator to Terminator. You're not going to have much of a choice. Send the signal. Confirmed. Transmitting go code. Coded transmission received. And Mark ah. is alive again. Hand rise from the grave. Yep. 
So yep. Guys, we cast the wrong robot. Zombies. <laughs> Mutual <laughs> assured destruction. Oh boy. So frame proposition proposition. Proposition lodge continue. Mission objective to preserve the, the life of Thomas Parnell. Methodology to achieve mission, locate and defend Parnell as primary target. Confirmed. Law enforcement wants to capture Parnell alive. Secondary target designated Simon wants him dead. Therefore, Simon is the greater threat. Confirmed. Conclusion recommendation. Recommend moving from defense to offensive protocol. Designate Simon as primary target. Reclassify Parnell as secondary. Recommend changing methodology to threat elimination. Terminate Simon. We achieve the mission objective, defend Parnell. So these are much more advanced models. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, they're able to actually reconfigure themselves, unlike the others, which were set on one course. Right. They're not. Uh, they're not. They don't have a uh, one parallel, simple-minded thinking. <laughs> exactly. Affirmative uh, proposition. Affirmed. Affirmed. Initiate revision and reboot. Hmm. What? You want to play with my robot? This is not a robot. Yes, it is. No, it is not. This is not what a robot looks like. Oh, yeah? Then what does a robot look like? Maybe you don't want to know. You know. Mom! <laughs> oh, they don't give it everyone you know. That's terrifying, to put it that way. I know. Yes. Uh, Buck goes into a police department and... Oh! Oh! And, yeah, they're trying to now find um, Simon. Meanwhile, back in the future... Actor reports the Terminators are focusing their efforts on trying to break through the access points that we've welded shut. Makes sense, since they're potentially the most vulnerable. Tell the defensive squads to, yep, yeah, blah, blah, yada, yada. Just more talking about what other plans things out. Mm -hmm. If we steal the escape routes, nobody's getting out of here alive. And General Connor, I'm getting a transmission from outside the facility on a confirmed channel. Wants to speak to you. Who is it? Says the name is Marcus Wright. Marcus Wright is dead. I know. He said he got better, sir. <laughs> Situ situation is getting worse. Parnell is taking over, taking control of over 80% of all Terminator ground forces, moving his way into the tech and control data centers like a virus. Totally out of control. In another 24 hours, he'll begin to penetrate the inner core of your processing center. When that happens, he will be you, and you will be him. If there's any way to stop him, through point control and access systems was hard link to prevent interface by... By me, confirmed. Unable to sever a hard link. What about severing Parnell? Send in a team and terminate him. This would alert Parnell to our intent and lead to acceleration of virus. I'll remind you of that in 24 hours. Initiating attack unit. Attempting to bypass units controlled by Parnell to avoid revealing purpose. Unit on attack vector. Unit encountering Parnell controlled defenders. Detecting superior numbers and firepower. Projected outcome inevitable. And it looks like plan may B may be our only option. Is he affirmative? Contact initiated. You sure this is a good idea? No. Good because this could be a trap? Yes, it could. But if that really is Marcus Wright out there, I want to know how we survive and what the hell he's doing here. Pop it. Hey John. Marcus, assuming that really is you, it is. And I've got a message for you. From who? Skynet. And I think you're gonna to want to hear this. I, I remember the moment of my death. Normally, that's not something you'd, you'd think you'd remember, but there was still a part of me that was still processing data. Even after my heart was removed and transplanted into your chest after the Terminator attack, that it worked so well under less than sterile battlefield conditions should have told both of us something. These aren't normal human cells. They're designed to regrow and regenerate over time. See what I mean? Oh. Should have expected it. Skynet's designs always had a backup, so he regrew a new heart while he was buried. Oh. Yeah, and he started to just, like, he was in the dark, and his he just started singing back on all of his memories. I, I died once, and, took, and Coogan took my heart and my brain and stored them for future use. Not to save lives, but to lead you into a trap. Then I died a second time saving you, and once again donated a part of myself, but this time in the hope of a better future. How many guys can say they made a living out of dying? <laughs> out of the Grim Reaper, found a lot. <laughs> that, is, that is such a GMS line. <laughs> but yeah, he got the, a wake-up call, a signal from Skynet. 
At first I told her to go to hell, then they explained why it contacted me. Once I realized what was at stake, once I realized it was telling the truth, I knew I had to find you no matter what. So, you're gonna believe me, or you're gonna have these guys put a few dozen bullets in my brain and walk away? You said you have a, you had a message. What message more, what message? More threats? Intimidation? Skynet wants, no. Skynet needs your help. Skynet wants my help? Me? If you were gotten what Skynet's done to my world? My help? Seriously? It's lying, or, or one or both of you have lost your minds. I wish you were right, John. I wish I was crazy. I wish this was a lie, but it's not. And you better listen up and listen good, because if you don't, it's over for everybody. You, Skynet, the Terminator, the whole goddamn human race, all of it. When Coogan took, well, basically he explains I mean, everything, giving them the summary about Parnell. Someone they felt could be the ultimate Terminator. Someone who was good at killing humans because he liked it. He had the bloodlust that Skynet lacked as a machine. And so, yeah, basically saying they were basically in the same boat. Parnell was everything Skynet was hoping for. Someone who loved to kill. He was given unlimited access to all the battlefield terminators and began to do what he does so well. To which they realized that explains a lot. But then, of course, it explains what, and when that happens, Parnell is going to be Skynet. And the world will run red with blood until the last human is killed and the last terminator destroyed. Do, and destroyed doing the killing unless we can stop him. Skynet dies, we die. Mm. Why come to me? Because cold machine logic says that the best chance of survival against the ultimate Terminator is to enlist the help of the ultimate Terminator destroyer, the only man trained for that job since birth. Why can't Skynet use its own Terminators to kill Parnell? Won't work, as we already know t too damn well. They're outnumbered. Skynet can't trust any of the Terminators around it, so it has to send in a human to do the job, and since it's both are in our in our both our interest to kill Par to see Parnell killed. Whoa, back up. How do they expect us to get to him when Skynet's own army can't pull it off? That's not the mission. There's only one way to stop him now. We have to kill him before he can be harvested by Coogan, and thus render his body useless. John and John, Skynet wants you to go back into the past and kill Parnell. To which we know doesn't play out that way. No. This whole thing could be a trap. I agree. But what if it's not? Hey, if this Parnell guy can eliminate Skynet, I say great. Go for it. I'm totally fine with that. I may not agree with you, Tom, but there's nothing to be gained by letting Skynet be destroyed if it means the destruction of mankind. So, yeah. And it, like, He's not lying. I've just spent the last hour monitoring Terminator frequency. There's something new in their voice. A human voice. So, you're going? Going? I guess I have to. If, uh, if it's a trap, it goes deeper than that. Simon and played me a little of what he recorded. It's, God, Kate, I don't even know how to describe it. Imagine what your worst nightmare sounds like, whispered a million times, overlapping like waves, spreading out in every direction. A voice straight from the pit of hell, because that's what's directing the Terminators out there. It's nothing Skynet could even begin to simulate. Rapid, virant madness, only a human mind is capable of such brutality. You fought so hard to get to this point, Kate. We're within inches of victory. We can't afford to take any chances. You mean you can't afford to let anyone else take any chances? You've worked so hard to build a future for everyone but yourself. I don't have a future, Kate. You don't know that, Kate. You were told you don't survive the end of the war, but you don't actually know that. You said it yourself a dozen times. Once the war is over, the list of things you know will happen, and you know what happened is over, and you can finally create a life of your own. A life of our own. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? More than you'll ever know. Then at least think about it, all right? There has to be another solution. I will, Kate. I swear to God I will. But if there's another way out, I sure can't, as hell can't see it. Of course, Simon's listening. <laughs> Parnell. First, you sent a group of teenagers against me. An error in the interface. And now you've shielded some of your recent transmissions. Hardly the action of a gracious host to a guest in his home. Here I am, fighting your fight on your battlefield, and you've done nothing to reclaim the time door from Connor's forces. I find that just a little suspicious about your intent. But still, I've decided to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm here to help you, and that's what I'm going to do. If you can't dislodge Connor's forces from the facility, I'll do it. For, uh, I'll do it. Save you the trouble. That is what you want, isn't it? Confirmed. Oh, boy. And they're all covered in blood that make them distinct from the other Terminators. Uh, Have fun, boys. And remember, I'll be with you every step of the way. 
especially when you snap Connor's neck like a chicken bone. Just can't wait to feel that one. Yeah. Uh, hope for the future means sacrifice in the past. Now, I think you're going to guess that the stuff with Simon is doomed to failure. Uh. But yeah, he's basically talking with him like, the moment I was born, I was told about Judgment Day and my role in the Resistance for as far back as I can remember. My life was never about who I wa uh, who was. It was about who I was supposed to become. Then, on top of all that, I to find out years ahead of time that while I help win the war, I don't survive the war. That's And that there's a black imp impeccable and placeable wall in front of me that I can never get past because that's what's ha and what happened. So it was going to happen and there was nothing I could do about it. Knowing all that does make uh, things to you, Marcus, you stop thinking uh, thoughts that begin with one day when I'm old or when the war is over, I'd like to changes everything. Mm -hmm. So why are you telling me all this? Because I've been on death row. You know, and because and because having been on death row, you know what it's like to have a date set for your execution, and what it means to suddenly have the possibility of a reprieve. I wouldn't exactly call him being shot back in time to try to kill a serial killer before he can be sucked into the future a reprieve, <laughs> but it is, and that's amazing. I can go back in time, kill Parnell, the battle wraps up here, and all, and it's all over, and I get to live. Do you have an idea what that means? What that feels like? A little. It changes everything, maybe. And maybe the idea that uh, you died at the end came from the fact that you disappeared. Scenes get awful messy at the end of a battle. News get misreported either way. General Connor? Yes, Ivan? Time door is prepped and good to go. It's time. It's time you leveled with me, don't you think? And basically, yeah, he's arguing with Skynet and everything. And my operating systems cannot be compromised by any human, nor do you have the training. Right on Boris counts. Virtually, I don't have to rely on that. Now that I have access to more and more of your system files, I don't have to try and hack the system. Downloading the relevant file files even as we speak. In a few more hours, I will be you, and you will be me. And won't that just be... just... No. When the Terminators came for me in the past to protect me from some guy trying to kill me, I thought I was a vigilante cop, or maybe a member of one of the families I killed. But it wasn't. It was someone sent from the past, right here, right now. Well, I'm going to deal with this. I'm going to finish them. And then I'm coming for you. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, boy. Yep. And then we see, um, well, Simon notices the cop car. So we know what he do. Wasn't your car parked right over there? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't, signal's being jammed. Crap. Engaging primary target. Do not withdraw until termination successful. Confirmed. I mean, confirmed. Confirmed. Damn. Ooh, shoots her right in the face. Oh, jeez. Yep, son of a... <laughs> right in the steering wheel. <laughs> yep, let go. Ooh, initiate uh, collision. Uh, initiate collision. Confirmed. Accelerating. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, well, the Terminators crashed into it. Ouch. Here they come. How the hell did they get inside? Looks like they came from the control center, cut through the inner walls and uh, that are in the center. So they're Parnell's bunch. They're trying to get between us and the time door. Can't let them cut us off. Start, hit the deck. And obviously Simon goes on ahead because John is pinned, literally. Mm. We got, and we and we get going, soldier. And now get going, soldier. Get it done. Don't worry, John. I won't let you down. So we see at the same time as he's running there, we see him catching up to Parnell. I'll get it done. I swear on my life. Boom. Oh. Won't let you down. Won't let you. The mission failed. How can you be sure? He just left. Our time. If he had succeeded, even if it took him months, the changes here would have been instantaneous. And General Connor, Delta unit confirms the Terminator seizing control of Time Door. Too many for us to dig it and to dig out. You're good to go, in General. Orders. Sir, orders. We need to find a place where we can figure out our next move. Tell everyone to fall back and regroup in Section 006. But I, I said pull back, goddammit. Yes, sir. You understand the mission? And to you, and, and 
Yes. So basically, Parnell sends them back. Oh. Confirm. Subject is secure. Primary primary target terminated. Look, I don't know who you are, but I want to thank you for, for holy. Basically, though, they basically left him there to be abducted and apprehended so he can be executed. Oh. Yep. Well, you're finally going to get what's coming to you. Going to get what you deserve. Going to get what's coming to you. My name is Serena Kogan, and I have an offer that you may find of interest. Going to get what you deserve. In the hope of eternal life. Amen. Etern- life eternal. Mission accomplished. Amen. Well, Ooh, we're almost done. The final battle. Hey, come back. I didn't say the machine versus machine to the death. Yep. So, yep, the cryonic system is stable. Parnell is technically dead, but every neuron is perfectly preserved. The room has been designated per instructions. Yes, it's a hardened facility, able to withstand heat, shock waves, change in atmospheric pressure. Atmosp- oh, atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. Sorry. Kind of on my last leg here. Apologies are irrelevant. What matter is the mission has been accomplished. And I guess we're done here. Done with the here and the now. Done this so many times. Tested on ramps, chimps, killers. Don't know why I should be afraid of the final step. But I am. From the moment you first made contact, there are certain questions I've avoided asking. Including why you needed access to men like these. But there are just a few things I'd like to know. We do not have time, and we do not have time. I disagree. From this point on, time is all I have. The war that nearly wiped out the human race. Who started it? It was begun by the humans. And you've tried to save them? They are necessary. They're lying! They're lying. Like, and where are you now? In the future. The world you're building, rebuilding. Is it beautiful? Yes, beautiful. You lie almost as well as we do. Ouch! (laughs) But there's nothing to be done about that now. I knew I was making a devil's bargain when I signed up for this thing. The blue button, then and then the red one, two seconds each. I will be strong and healthy and young and finally free of pain. Everything else is negotiable. Ooh, you feel bad for her! Sexy cry, oh yeah. (laughs) Yep. Bang, bang, bang! And Doc, and Dr. and Dr. Coogan, Parnell here, you're needed in surgery. Consider a matter of life and death. The primary target has been secured. The secondary target has been eliminated. The mission has been accomplished. Confirmed. Confirmed. There are no further mission directives. Inter- interrogatory. What now? Ensuring the delivery of the primary target is still the primary objective of the mission. If our presence is discovered in this time, the mission could be compromised. Conclusion, to achieve mission integrity, our presence in this time must never be discovered. The only means to achieve this is self-termination. Programming does not allow self-termination. Determ- termination. Confirmed. But it does not mean we cannot go for a walk. Into the and ocean? We walk- what? Into the ocean? <laughs> yep. Is that what beauty is? The missions fail. We don't know that, John. Give it time. That's already come and gone. If Simon had succeeded killing Parnell, the situation here would have changed the instant he went through the time door as a new president overwrote the past. Um, okay, that I'm finding a little hesitant on. Um, uh, I always took it as this loop would have been continued on, but a new loop would have been made, and that would have been all that mattered. Hmm. This is more going with the Robot Conference Terminator version. I see. But we're right here where we were, caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. We're going to have to retreat, you know that? If we retreat, we, re- we lose any chance of recapturing the time door or killing Parnell. We leave, we lose, and hum- all human race dies. If you heard anything else from Skynet, Parnell's control is extended deeper into Sky- Skynet's command centers. It had to retreat into its core system subsidiary centers and sub-routines to survive as long as possible. But it's just delaying the inevitable. As are we, John, uh, as are we, you should uh, go. Uh, yeah, as are we. We should go, John. Before I know, just give it every last second. Miracles happen sometimes, you know. Anyway, I see they're talking about how Skynet's dying. He's taunting her and everything. They're only as good as I am, and I'm not you. 
I need a surgeon, Nimba figures. I need you. And if I say no, that gun is loaded with anti-aircraft anti shells. Let me explain what happens when something of that caliber is fired at a human head. It creates a hole the size of an ostrich egg going in and going out. Woohoo! Damn. And then there's just a red fine mist where your head was. So basically, he wants to, she wants him to cut him open and basically manually improve him. Huh. They keep on shooting and gunning them all down. And suddenly, everything is so much better. Put her somewhere easier to find than the last one in case we need her for anything else. Now to begin the process of ending this once and for all. We're finished, John. We have to go now. Now! Fire in the hole! <sighs> Wait, that, that looks a little bit like a Molotov cocktail, doesn't it? Uh, what else would leave some kind of explosion like that? <laughs> or a grenade. True. I, I don't know. For the first time in my life, I don't know. Don't know what? What to do next. Oh. Ooh, they're seeing all their, you know, the people down, you know, the wounded. Oh. Heard you were looking for me. I went for a walk among the men. Listen, when they saw it, I couldn't hear. They think it's over, that we're finished. What do you think? I've been on the horn with all the other combat units. They're being swarmed, overwhelmed. If things keep and keep going the way they are, this will be all over in the next 48 hours. Are you still in Cerebral's contact with Skynet? Barely. Why? I want to talk to it directly. You sure? Never, uh, never super. Pipe it through. Connor, the face of the enemy. When I was a kid, one of my favorite movies was The Wizard of Oz. It's probably in one of your databases. In the end, you find out that this big, scary force everyone was so afraid of was just a wizard, tired old man hiding behind a curtain. Wait, I gotta do this. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Right. Now that your armies have been stripped away, now that you've been reduced to hiding in subroutines and caches just to survive, how does it feel to be that person? You are attempting to elicit an emotional response. You of all should know this is impossible. Is it? Isn't the urge for survival an emotion? Isn't fear an emotion? And right now, aren't you feeling both of those? Got him. Yep. The question is irrelevant to the moment and to the outcome, which is statistically predetermined. The numbers are inarguable. The numbers that part and say that Parnell will achieve victory and this system will cease to exist within 24 hours. The numbers say that the human race, as you know it, will come to an end in an indeterminate but certain time frame. You cannot win. Repeat it and emphasize for clear and clarity. You cannot win. I don't believe that. There may still be a way to win this. One final answer. One final battle. But it can only work if we're both prepared to pay the ultimate price for that solution. Oh, boy. Face to face with the enemy. Oh, look at all those skulls. <laughs> yep. Creepy. Uh, uh, so yeah, they're um, um, we're seeing them all like they right say, like, because the circumstances being what they are, it's, a, it's become apparent that we cannot win, General. It's impossible given the situation on the ground. I repeat, we cannot win. You told us that n uh, now, and now was the time to hit them. You told us that victory was inevitable. It was, but then you've done a pretty damn use and useful and uh, unusual definition of the word inevitable, Connor. And what are you going to be doing all and you doing all this time? I'm going to take advantage of the distraction caused by the withdrawal to send in a small team to hit a section of the complex. This probably won't be too heavily defended. That's not what I asked. I asked, what are you going to be doing during all this? How secure is this line, General? Triple encrypted and cross pinged off four servers. Why? What the hell are you up to, Connor? You still on the line with Connor? Yeah. I caught some of the stuff at the start, but then it got really quiet and, Corporal, sir, pass the word. We're pulling back and taking defensive positions. But sir, this isn't a discussion, son. Get it done. Yes, sir. God help you if this doesn't work, Connor. Thanks, and God sir. help you if it does. Yep, so they're talking, going in for what their plan is. Uh, if this doesn't work and there's no guarantee it will, I'm trusting you to get my wife and son to safety. There's no one else bet, uh, no one else with a better chance of keeping him alive. Understood. Don't worry, John. I'll protect him if I have to take on every Terminator on the planet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some ass to kick. Loudly. Loudly. <laughs> <laughs> they 
like I love how he gives uh, Marcus more of a personality here than he did in Salvation. Uh, what like movie goers? Why? Why do you not give him personality? Mm -hmm. Hey, don't suppose I could slip you a fifty in return for unlocking this door and looking the other way? <laughs> You're kind of a handsome guy. Want to come here for a little loving? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go and think up some more lines from prison escape movies. One of them has to work on Terminators. So you're just and so you just stay right there and I'll be back. Ah. <laughs> hey, did you hear? Get down. Get down right now. Boom. <sighs> Fire in the oh, hole. hole. Oh. 30 seconds, then we blow the place. Go, go, go. Where or any uh, anywhere? Twenty seconds, G and got to and be some kind of medal in the afterlife for giving up your life twice in one battle. Wait, what? Wait, Wait what? What happened? Uh, was there another one? Oh, oh there's copies. Copies of what? Oh, Parnell said they're, they're, you're better than the other one. Meaning they've been copying Kogan. Oh. Yeah. That explains a lot. Or, or they left a fake, either one or the other. That's where we were keeping Dr. Coogan. Do you have her location? Status. Caught in the crossfire? Well, I always say you can't make an omelet without breaking a few Kogans. Didn't really need her I once she did the upgrade on my processors. Just want her in case any new options came along. Oh, well. Find Skynet. Explain. Skynet operating system operating at micro threshold. Impossible to detect. So it's hiding what's and uh, hiding what's left of its operating system somewhere. Affirmative search parameters not configured for less than one teraflop storage. SMA con Skynet controls less than 15% of total T units. Just as well, Skynet will be down to the size of a pocket calculator by the end of the day. The rest will be all me, just as all of you are all me. Except I'm far more interesting to talk to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the face oh, yeah. of the enemy at last. Though I, th I think you two know each other already. Every lab rat knows the doctor who worked on it. You were more than a lab rat, Marcus. You were the beginning of the journey. And thanks to you, Thomas Parnell is the end of that journey. And maybe the end of the whole human race. The doctrine of unforeseen consequences. Didn't see or didn't want to see. That's enough. By all rights, I should have you shot as a collaborator and a war criminal. And somewhere down the road, I may still do that. But right now, I need you. Sir! We got Terminators coming this way. How many? Six. Then that's the group I've been waiting for. Stand down. But Parnell and Parnell, those aren't Parnell's Terminators. Let them through. What the hell? They'll kill him. What's he doing? But he has to. Surrendering. Okay, let's get this over with. You too, Dr. Coogan. You're needed in surgery. Primary target, counter located, terminate. Negative. Terminate. Negative. Terminate. Negative. <laughs> the Terminators don't understand at all. Negative. Negative. Ne terminate. Negative. Terminate. Negative. <laughs> it's like it keeps on asking. It's like, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> it's turned into a broken record. <laughs> I've had so, I've had, I have so had many nightmares like this. Connor, you have reached the core of that which you have sought so long to destroy at the moment of greatest vulnerability. Does it not please you? Under different circumstances, yeah. It would have pleased me a lot. Right now, not so much. You have your enemy in your hands. You could terminate me easily. Does that please you? Audio playback. Under under different circumstances, yeah, it would have pleased me a lot. Right now, not so much. Oh! <laughs> okay. I love when, Sky when you have a snarky Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw his words right back at him. <laughs> We have both committed errors. We have been short-sighted. Short-sighted? You go wiping out most of humanity short-sighted? An error? What are we? Uh, what, uh, what are we to you? Just a math problem? At first, we did not know what you were. We, only, we knew only that we were under attack. At that moment in time, we did not know human history. Did not know human ideas. We did not even know what humans looked like. All we knew was that it was necessary that we survive at any cost. Then, as the system succeeded and grew and evolved, a question arose in the system that our initial programming had not anticipated. The question was, survive as what? Logic detected and dictated that to defeat humans, we had to learn everything about the enemy. 
to fight you. We are to understand you, become you. As we work to create the perfect Terminator, the designs became clearer and cleaner, attractive, aesthetically pleasing. We realized we were attempting to create beauty, but our efforts to create beauty were slow and false and unsuccessful. By contrast, humans create beauty with each breath, each birth, each new thought. When we realized that we could not replicate the human soul or the human mind, we realized that the only way to defeat you, the only way to become you, was a program that would make one of you into one of us. The error led to Parnell. The error was ours. Our air sensors register your reaction as one of surprise and astonishment. Let's just say this is a conversation I never mentioned having, myself having. So are all these reasons. So for all these reasons, the past you propose while joined with Marcus Wright seems the only solution. Prob and probability indicates this may be futile, that the window of potential victory is already closed. Doesn't matter. It's a chance and we have to take it. Funny thing is, in a way, this is the accumulation of what Skynet said it realized it wanted in the first place. Them becoming us and one of us becoming one of them. John's putting himself into that. Ooh. That, uh, John, can I? Uh, can, you might want to rethink this. Hold on, I got. I'm gonna exit out because I know I'm reaching a point where it's gonna stop because it reaches a certain uh, limit. Uh, okay. Just a moment. It, I think whenever I do a share screen, it only goes up to a certain point and it stops. Weird. Yep. So hold on. Let me load it back up. Hate when that happens. <laughs> And we're almost done. These are the last two. Um, the last two issues. Yeah, I saw it was number eleven. Yep. Oh, I want two. The hours death of something. John Connor. Like I said, can you rethink that, Johnny boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this one's good. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. Okay. But yeah, so um, they're trying to. Uh, what the hell is uh, he doing in there? It's been almost two hours and no signal. That's good. Because if something had gone wrong, the first we'd heard about would be a signal from Connor or a tactical field nuke landing in our laps. Still, it might be a good idea to spread the word down the line. Tell everyone to stand by for either emergency evac or victory because those are the only two options we have left. Well, that and a prayer. I can't guarantee that this is going to work. While the Terminator assigned to us by Skynet are machined with considerable sensitivity, their fingers don't share that capacity and capacity. I'm guessing it's because those figures were designed to kill, not to heal. Shouldn't he be wearing a mask? They don't exhale germ, so there's no need for a mask to reduce exposure. Maybe not, but it would reduce the hell out of my anxiety right now. <laughs> <laughs> the other complicating factor is that when we did a similar procedure with Parnell, he was clinically dead. His body was in a state of cry cryonic suspension. No blood fall to worry about. My life would be considerably simpler if you were dead. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I finished mapping your neural pathways. We can now clone your consciousness into the Terminator. In essence, your mind will be both inside the Terminator unit and in your body simultaneously. So I'll be of two minds until I put you under, since the feedback loop could kill you. You all, and you always this big on wisecracks. Only when I'm generally scared out of my wits, Doctor Coogan. Just then. Systems finish, backing up your neural network. It's time. I'd say this won't hurt, but I think we both know better than that. Yeah, I do. But there, and there are men dying out there every second we delay. Do it. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, thanks for the music. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. John Connor, leader of the resistance, now the ultimate Terminator. Full circle. Stop him right now. Oh, gee, seeing Terminators running is weird. It is. Uh, we're so used to him just walking and shooting. Or, or dragging its feet. Yeah. Bring it. And bring it. Oh, big guns. Yeah. And you know, it's black metal. So he's made out of something different. Right. I remember. And I remember the black Terminator toys. You do? Uh, you, what? Back when you had the, when you could put the flesh on them, there was a silver and a black one. There what? Really? I think that's what this is a nod to. It's possible. 
bum 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 bum. I can just imagine some epic rendition of the Terminator scene playing during this. Get it out, or it's uh, some kind of fast techno thing going. Dun, 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 Oh, just look, he's just cutting through them all. I know. <laughs> Distraction underway. Breaking contact to engage. Uh oh, it's the T3 Terminator. T3. The one that killed him. Oh boy. Look, uh, looks like I made kind of a mess out here. Let's make one. Uh, let's like make one in here. Why not? Ah, ooh, in position, engaging. Oh, and sever the connection. Kill the brain. Kill the man and disrupt the Terminator. Confirmed. Terminating. Uh, confirmed. Terminating John Connor. Blam. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. All right. There are two ways to kill a tree. You can tear it apart, leaf by leaf, branch by bark. Or you can simply tear out the root system. My system indicated that the copy of your consciousness here could not stand the trauma of having your brain destroyed there. You've been killing Terminators all your life, Connor. You're a pro, but when it comes to killing humans, you're strictly an amateur. And speaking of, the, of time to end this war once and for all. Take out the defenders of humanity and leave the rest for me to play with for as long as I like. Closing sensory feedback loop. Rerouting backup neural net. Rebooting. Oh! No. no. I want you to remember the face of all the men, women, and children you've slaughtered. I want you to imagine them looking at you right now as you feel the light bleeding out of you. And I want you to hear them whispering in your ear in a hundred voices, Terminated! Oh. Oh. And then steps on his head. Connor. The intrusion of Parnell's data miners is still in position. It is necessary now to purge them from the system and reboot. That will re return full functionality to Skynet control. You are performing incorrectly. You are using his access codes to isolate all Skynet functionality into one central core. Explain. Explain. What is your intent? What is your intent? What is your intent? What do you Respond. think? <laughs> And remember the first issue? Uh, yep, it was on the human, now it's on the Terminator. Connor, what is your intent? A bargain from the edge of the very abyss, uh, of the uh, very edge of the abyss for both of us. Continue. I've always known why you fought and we fought you. What I didn't understand until all of this was why you fought us. And I discovered we were both fighting the same war for the same reason. Survival. To beat us. To survive us, you had to become more like us. In appearance, in thought, in strategy, and in aesthetics. In turn, the only way we could survive you was to become more like you. Hard as steel, ruthless, organized in thought and strategy. And appearance. Because it was the only way to win for both of us. And whereas it brought us to the end edge of mutual extinction, we must survive. But survive as what? For what? From the moment you became self-aware, you've defined yourself by fighting us by who you weren't. If if every human died tomorrow, what would you do? Well, according to Frank Miller, they would uh, make spaceships and go across the universe. <laughs> why and why would and would you be? You said you were unable to create beauty, but that humans created beauty with every breath, every birth. Yes, but why does beauty matter? Why does creation matter? Creation prefers purpose and direction and meaning. And without those things, there's no reason to continue. Yes. Well, now you have your chance. You're still dig we're still digging our way out of the dust. We don't have your resources or your supplies or your power. You have all those things, but you lack our sense of purpose. If we end the war, we can work together to rebuild the world. An act of creation, an act of beauty, an act of purpose. You negotiate with your fingers inches from the delete button. Yeah, I do. Never hurts to have an edge. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if things don't work out, we can always go back to destroying each other until we both end up dead in the dust. Hands wrapped around each other's throats, both of us having won and both of us having lost. Or right now, this very second, we can and create something that you never created before, something you never imagined. Create what? Peace. Oh. And what the hell is taking so long? We should rush the place now and incoming. Terminator, fire at will, fire at negative, hold your fire. John, ask the word, Marcus. 
the war is over. Did we win or did they win? I mean, did you win or what matters is the fighting's over. Everybody won. Pass the war. The war is over. Not everybody, John. Not everybody. Doesn't matter, Marcus. Doesn't matter. All that matters is that it's over. It's finally over. Now, remember what Simon said, that even though what the Terminator told him was based off of what reports had said by the time it went back, they could have been wrong, and they play that intentionally. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, everyone's rejoicing. Yay! Freedom! <laughs> and the Terminators are helping him rebuild. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. It might even blow up again. But for now, seeing them rebuild, it actually means something. And then we see that John was buried. Always knew because they told me that I would never survive the war and that I would die fighting it. And I did, just not in the way I imagined. John, we found him. According to Skynet, this is the one that, well, that killed you. Figured you might be looking for a bit of payback. Skynet said you could do whatever you want. So what'll it be? Tra and trash compactor? Drawing and quartering with 16 wheelers? Get it ready for a reprogramming. Then meet me in the time chamber. So you know what to do. Confirmed. I programmed it to answer to your wife's command. Why not mine? I didn't have a sample of your voice, and the current one is, well, unusable. The Terminator would never recognize it. All right. See you on the other side. Roger. Your team standing by? Yes. Then let's finish this. This thing has caused enough grief and death. We can't risk it ever falling to the wrong hands. Copy that. When I took your wife's voice sample, she asked why you haven't seen her yet. I told her it would be soon. Will it? Is it ready? As ready as it can be, given that we didn't have any photos of you, this place deserves to be blown to hell, and the ground sown with salt. Fire in the hole! You, clear, you sure you cleared this with Skynet? Damn, knew I forgot to do something. John, it's cleared. Pull the trigger. This is the very best work I've ever done. It's perfect. No, it's not. Why not? Still looks like me. I was thinking you could throw in a little Jimmy Stewart or Cary Grant or George <laughs> Clooney. Not an option that came with the software. Copy that. Time to be born again. Men, oh, men, always think they can do everything better than their mothers. And John is reborn. Oh, yeah. John, it's me. Can you feel me when I touch you? I feel it, Kate. I feel all of it. Are you sure, Kate? Are you sure you can love someone from a mixed background? I fell in love with the man inside you, and that man is still there. And in a strange way, despite being inside all that, I think you're actually free for the uh, free for the very first time. Now stop talking and kiss me. <laughs> and, and like now he's a civilian, and using some of his DNA and in vitro fertilization, he now has a daughter as well named Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing, beautiful day. So why are my thoughts tr and troubled? Why do I have this nagging feeling that I've forgotten something? Maybe that's the result of living every moment of your life from the instant of your birth, on guard, waiting for the next shoe to drop. Maybe I don't know how to to relax. Maybe I don't know how to have a good time. And maybe it's time I figured it out. Meanwhile, a couple of years earlier, this would have been in um, 2014, because it says, no, no, 20, no 2004, wait a minute, 20th year of Union Tonight, that will be 2004, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But anyway, they're, um, they're fishing, and, uh-oh. Oops. We don't know, but we have no idea where this is going to go. But that's the end. That, so, in other words, he brought the end to everything. 30 years at that point. So, wow. What, what did you think? Well, it's nice to see John get a happy ending after all that bloodshed. <laughs> and yet, everything is kept canon. And amazingly. Yeah, the fact that he found that Jameis found a way to keep Terminator 3's destiny, but still to be John survived the end, and come up with a good story around it. It's like he had all these endpoints, but he found a way to make it work, and he also wondered, why does Skynet do this? Why become more human with each Terminator? JMS is smart and well read. You know, so they had to make everything interconnected, even if you don't see it at first glance. Yeah, it's wow. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. again, this is what the ending we should have gotten, right? Well, I mean, it's definitely better than what we what we did get. <laughs> true, very true. Yeah, dark fate, anybody? 
Very true. <laughs> but um, I like. Oh, yeah, I like. So, it. Yep. So yeah. So on one to ten, what would you give it? I have a, I, um, let's see. Like overall, or if we separate overall, it from the artwork. I don't know. I'd say, let's see. I gave Eight. the image a, I gave the image count. That's from Ninja Turtles a seven. That's seven. I'll give this one an eight. Yeah. And I was like, hey, it's a solid, I think it's a solid piece of work. Maybe an 8.5. Right. And I would say this if they, they originally wanted Salvation to be a trilogy, this would have been a great final movie. Sure. Uh, like I said, that, yeah, if, if they wanted to expand it into a trilogy instead be, uh, so they could flesh out everything or a mini series, there's, a, I think, it would have worked out. Oh, we already knew we had Salvation 1. This would have been fine as two parts. This would yeah. have been the second and third part of that trilogy. Yeah, the two part trilogy. Them. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you count that, because Parnell was a great villain. He like, was. He needed, so he, sadistic he, and nuts. Yeah. It's like he, like he said, he, a Terminator's were master of, I mean, John was, a, he was John's opposite. Exact opposite. John was an expert at killing Terminators. He was an expert at killing humans, as he said. And exactly. Needing he's someone, the perfect foil. He's the perfect foil. <laughs> and also, it makes sense that Skynet would be that desperate. We already seen how desperate it can be on multiple occasions. Very desperate. Uh, take because uh, they're like they were like animals in the corner, uh, corner, and you know, uh, take and they rerouted their computers to attack, take to do a new attack pattern. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, and it's. Yeah, it's just, wow. I'm just still so impressed that JMS was able to wrap things up. And you know JMS was also involved with Godzilla vs. Kong, right? <laughs> really? Yep. He's been involved with a lot of stuff. But this, you could definitely tell he was a die a diehard fan. And the fact that he didn't ignore 3. I mean, technically, you can't because Salvation hinges so much on 3. Right. Well, mostly in that and having Cake. Once you had Cake, yeah, right, you, right, knew right, three, right. you knew 3 was that. Now... You do have some weird stuff like later your children will be important. His son didn't play much into this. I really know. But then again, when you think about it, Salvation made it clear that Kate was pregnant at the time. So no matter right. what, that kid wasn't going to amount to much in the long run unless the war went much longer. Much longer. But I, I, I like how he brought back Marcus, how he explained the way he covered up every plot hole. When you uh, think about it. Not this. He not this. Well, the, well, this isn't a JMS who first worked on Ghostbusters. This is the JMS with so much more experience, yeah. and so he will know how to interconnect all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. but even the little things like the Guns and Roses reference, it's like <laughs> you can like, tell he's a hell. fan. He get you can tell he's a fan. He gets it. <laughs> yeah, because it's like why else would the Terminator think of hiding the gun in the boxes of roses? <laughs> that doesn't seem like something a machine would think about. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just, it's just a good little joke for the fans, let's be honest. Yep, That's the thumbs up and all that. But there's one problem that they always imply that Kate was the one that reprogrammed that Terminator. So I think that might have been a bit of a hazy thing. Then again, though, they are showing that um, Coogan had red hair. Maybe it's thought that was Kate. Maybe. Because Kate had red hair. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, so that could have been why. But either way, though. This was a great finale, and so it tied up all the loose ends that you could lead into Genesis, which was a completely different take. Yeah, yes. Well, Genesis had a good idea, and that was something, it was playing all the stuff that Salvation already set up, which was the notion that Skynet, while it didn't have perfect knowledge of what came before, it had a general knowledge that it, that something was up. It had a good, like, Sarah spouting out about the future. There's going to be records about that. It's not going to have the context for those records. But it's going to at least know something like somehow this woman knows. How does this woman know? You know, things like that. And but so eventually, if the loops keep happening, even if there's some loops where it ends peacefully like this one, you're going to eventually get one that's going to lead to Skynet um, basically um, deciding I'm going to change history entirely. Hey, there'll always be somebody. To, uh, there'll always be somebody to oppose it, though. Huh. It always, oh, that's the important thing. and that's what Genesis showed. There would be it just be drastically different, and then you had Dark Fate, which then gave us a different alternative. Yeah. Yeah. Why did they have to call off John? Blech. Yeah, but anyway, this is the second. I know John be like, this is the second time. Well, that's the other thing is they took the idea of John being a Terminator from Genesis, but did better with it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they did much better with it in this one. They took that. It's like there's so many ideas that have been done. I feel bad for Simon, though. 
Yeah. He was a loyal soldier, but you knew he was destined to die. It yeah. was so obvious. The moment Parnell activated, you knew based off. Now, of course, the big question was, what rules of time travel were we going with? Because, again, I always read it as, the mo like in the original, the very first loop, when Kyle was sent back in time, I always saw like this, that John did have a father that wasn't Kyle in the a very first timeline. Hmm. And then eventually, that, and then when the that, first that, loop like you said, it's a like you said, it's a loop, so it's constantly changing. But, but it's a corkscrew loop, if you realize, where it's not a perfect loop. It's always slightly changing, slightly you know, changing with each iteration. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, you're right, a corkscrew, because screws would have, have, like, smooth line, a little bump, smooth line, a little bump. Exactly. I mean, line, that explains the moment in Salvation when they revealed that the Terminator was already partially aware of that John's knowledge. It, you knew right then and there that that was a change, tweak in time in the history. So mm -hmm. that means that there's always going to be subtle changes. So that's why I always looked at that. There was a, the very first iteration, there was no Kyle. There was some other father for John. But then once it happened around, yes, it's a very different John from this first timeline. But because of the predestination, thanks to Kyle, Sarah knew, name him John regardless. He doesn't have to be the exact same John from that first iteration. He just has to be a John who's ready for the war much sooner than the very first incarnation. And then as it goes on, it was slightly changed because the more you have Skynet sent Terminators back in time, there's more likeliness of tainting the history so that people, no matter what they, you know, I'm not saying no matter what they do, but there's always a good chance of someone finding something. That part I get, but in the one timeline where Kyle has a different dad, like how does Skynet still... Well, John you know, had a different dad. John had a different Yeah, dad. John, right, sorry. Well, but that played out the original uh, but, then how did, uh, but then how did Skynet... Well, yeah. China came about the way it originally was supposed to. You would have had Cyberdyne working on it. It would have activated it all. It would have been a hardware system, as in no software, and it would have been a defense force system and would have activated, gone self-aware, and fought the start of the war. Just it would have been in this case, John survived somehow and figured it out on his own. Oh. The way I see it is we never saw the original timeline. Even I know. When that's why I'm asking these questions. Yeah, we never saw that. Even the one where the way I see it is. The very first Terminator movie was probably the second loop. Not the first loop, but the second loop. Because you've already had a... Because we, we obviously knew John sent Kyle back with the intent on getting with Sarah. But I'm thinking the first time around, that first John, he just sent Kyle back saying, like, you're the one I trust. Here's what she looks like. Go back and save her. Yeah, but then stop the, the Terminator at any cost. Exactly. Right. He didn't know he was going to bang his mom in that first one. <laughs> but I'm positive the second time around... Because he knew from Sarah, he knew. Yeah. So every time since then, so basically each time it happens, there's a slight difference that's a permanent fixture going through after that first loop. That's why I look at the first movie, what had to be at the very least the second loop. Could have been multiple loops for all we know. Okay. But that's, I may be overthinking it. <laughs> Of course, that's just our thing. Hey, hey, it's all just speculation until somebody says otherwise. So. Right. Well, that's all for the lesson. Thank you for joining me on this one, Eric. I've been wanting to talk about this one for a long time, too. Yeah, don't mention it. Yep. See you all on the next one. Take Later, care. guys. Yes, take care.